and welcome back to the channel here today we have another five year rebuild this time we will be doing the la rams welcome back to the channel everyone i hope you're all having a great day please leave a like comment down below what you thought of today's action and don't forget to subscribe so we're doing another one of these five year rebuilds this time we're gonna have the los angeles rams here and you know i looked through this team fairly quickly before I started recording and the probably the big thing about this roster that is that's just immediately in front of you is how much non-future players I really don't think that a lot of these players on this roster will be here when um in five seasons and you know let's start off here obviously on the offense side of the ball we have Matthew Stafford you know Super Bowl, Super Bowl winning quarterback. He's one of the better quarterbacks in this league. Though 35, we're going to have to find his replacement. And what the Rams have been doing over the, the last probably handful of seasons, for the last two seasons now, have just been kind of reaccumulating draft capital. And that's something that we could very easily consider doing. Training both Aaron Donald and Cooper Cup could easily get us a haul of draft capital. But I think for this rebuild, I want to keep those two guys and just let make them lifelong Rams. Um, we're going to need a help across this offensive line. We have kind of three spots that are filled, but um, we still need help. Still need a tight end. Of course, you can't not talk about the Rams without talking about it. Puka here, who's developed into an excellent receiver. Um, I'm hoping that he can become our next Cooper Cup. Puka, very excited to have him next to Cooper Cup. Um, do need a running back and you know that's the offense defensively we need to help out Aaron Donald to surround him with better front seven talent and a better secondary overall this team I'm expecting us to make a lot of moves and a lot of change so let's get into year one let's sim to the midseason point and see what we can do here well so far through year one not the year we've wanted two and five and we are struggling um especially on the defensive side of the ball we can throw the football and put up some points but we cannot play defense um i mean when we really only have aaron donald on the roster on the defensive side of the ball i mean it's tough out there i mean we have two solid safeties but it's hard let's look, go let's look, let's look at this negotiation period john johnson here three years you know that's a little less than seven million dollars johnson would be a player that i would like to keep same thing here with Jordan Fuller. If we can keep these two players, um, they're relatively cheap. They will stay as a solid. Johnson here will stay as a solid, probably like 82. And Fuller could grow into into the 80s. Um, Kevin Dotson here, probably another player that we want to keep. And I think after that, um, there really isn't much more of talent here. So let's start here with Kevin here who will probably end up being the most expensive. He's a young guard, don't want to focus too heavily on this offensive line, so Kevin re-signs. Still have about $40 million to work with. I honestly think we don't have to really raise this offer too much here for Jordan. We don't, he re-signs on a five-year deal. And Johnson here will also give him a five-year contract. So give or take five years, $35 million for each of those three players who will be solid starters and we can enter into this offseason with a little over 30 million and we'll probably make some cuts um, You know, I think year one we kind of sit back We let the team develop and then we get my players in and hopefully we can get some good roles here in free agency Oh my goodness a second half resurgence here as we went nine and eight to finish off the regular season. My God. Um, what were we? Two and five. So we went um, seven and three throughout the remaining of the season. I mean, kudos to our roster here. They persevered through all of this. You know, we struggled through the first half and then we just started going on this nice winning streak here. Now we've, we're three or we're two and three in the last um five weeks of the year but we did enough to get back to the postseason here with this Rams team and let's go see how we did it here um we have the number ranked five offense here I don't know how we did that and the number ranked 15 defense I mean Stafford threw over 4,000 passing yards 25 touchdowns seven picks 
not a terrible season um a very respectful season from stafford one of those touchdowns to be higher um williams here seven touchdowns a thousand yards and then kevin uh, or zach evans here rushed in 10 more uh tds so that's good cooper cup 100 catches 1500 yards and 12 touchdowns just an excellent playmaker due to at well with 904 touchdowns Puka here, only 8 and 4, but these two really racked up the receptions here. I think we kind of have our receivers potentially. Tyler Higby added 4 and 3, and not too many other standouts. Offensive line is the offensive line. Jones here had over 100 tackles, and Aaron Donald did Aaron Donald things. 15 tackles for Laos, 19 sacks. I mean, after that, it's just nothing here. And uh, Witherspoon here, I mean, 4 picks solid year i mean witherspoon is our highest rated corner but long term future wise he's just not going to stay on this team so solid year you know we're in the postseason for the first season we usually have our it's usually once i kind of get the hand of the team so let's go see if we can beat this carolina team the 12 and 5 record we lost that's unfortunate here um you know but i do think that entering into year one of the off season, we should be okay. So let's get to the off season. Let's see what we can do. And the Super Bowl champions are the Dallas Cowboys beating the Baltimore Ravens 31 to 15. As you can see the yearly awards. I'm not gonna go through these awards this time around. Um, let's get into this off season. Let's go resign some players. Um, we should have a good amount of cap space, I assume. We don't have a ton of players that we're even paying on the roster, so. Let's see if there's any new development traits as well before we get into the resign phase. Um, offensively, no. But Matthew Stafford did retire. So quarterback becomes the focal point of this offseason. Defensively, I mean, Jones went up to star dev and Witherspoon went to star dev. Um, no other changes, but we have to really retool this roster, especially here in year one. I don't think we're going to have a lot of players to reassign. It looks like we have a little close to $100 million. I am going to make some cuts, though. I am going to move off of some players just because, you know, I think if we get in, we, we just need to be able to cut some fat off this team. So let's look at this team. $97 million to work with. Witherspoon has interest in coming back, and I'm actually kind of interested in just keeping him for one more season, kind of work him into the ground. He's a solid starter. I mean, he got four picks for us. So um, let's offer him this one-year deal. Um, it's very fair. Um, one year, four millions, and Witherspoon is back. So, you know, he will be a solid number two, number three, hopefully, type of corner. And let's see what we can do here in free agency. Okay, open free agency, $97 million. We have Tyron Smith, Christian Wilkins out here, DJ Reader. Oh my, there is talent, at least for win now teams, but also there is just talent across the board. Quarterback is a need for us. We're not paying anyone. Um, so I would like to bring in a veteran, someone who's like, I would like to bring in actually a guy like a Sam Darnold, um, who I will actually give an offer to. Um, I'm going to just give him this base offer here. Um, I think that bringing in a guy like a Sam Darnold would really benefit us. 27 years old, solid ratings. I just think Kirk Cousins and Baker Mayfield are just too expensive for my blood. Now, running back is interesting because, you know, we could bring in a veteran. I do think bringing in a guy like a Zach Moss or an, on an AJ Dillon would make some sense. Same thing with Edward, Clyde's Edwards Hilaire. Um, one of these young backs, just to be another solid starter. Um, receiver, I actually think we're good at. Tight end, for now, we're solid in. I mean, if no one's offering to Irv Smith, I think we'll give him an offer. And maybe we'll move off of Tyler Higby. Um, we'll give him a two-year deal. Um, the offensive line needs help. Tyron Smith would be a good just band-aid. Now, Jonathan Williams here. 26 years old, could be a solid starting tackle. He's actually an offensive lineman I will target here. Um, a four-year, $40 million. Um, gotta protect whoever whoever the heck's the starting next starting quarterback on this team. 
Um, for the rest of this offensive line that I've seen, it's not... I mean, Caesar Ruiz would be a solid guy to bring in, but we do need help on this defense, and I definitely think bringing a guy like a DJ Reader um, would make a whole lot of sense. I think Christian Wilkins also makes a whole lot of sense, and he is actually someone that I'm going to, again, get try to buy him, try to get him to come to this roster and just be the guy next to Aaron Donald. Just be the guy next to him, you know? Who, who wouldn't want that? Um... Just um, Yuchi here. He would be actually another player that I would target. We do need an edge rusher. And unless I see like another player that I should target as well, because we could move off. We we don't have to make the um the offer to what's his name? To Irv Smith, but no one else that I see. So Josh will try to bring him in. He's expensive. Um, but we'll try to bring him in. Um, and I think these are so five solid moves. We'll probably, I'll probably end up making a couple more, but let's see if we can get this first wave here. What will happen as right now we did Kirk Christian, we got Irv Smith and we got Sam Darnold. So we got our bridge quarterback for however many years, um, for three years. We got Irv Smith who could become our solid tight end and then Christian Wilkins. He's going to play next to Donald here. Now we did miss out on what's his name. I forget already Josh so we did not get the pass rusher I think he actually took less to go to Detroit um Devin Bush would have been another good player um okay so we still got plenty of money um we still have the offer here to Williams let's go see if I can make any other signings so we are gonna go after AJ Dillon, Javian Clowney for a season, going after Kicker and Christian Fulton. I think some of these guys has, is a good mixed blend of young talent with veteran talent, and that's really what you're looking for here. So Dillon has yet to accept, same with the Kicker, but we did get Clowney and we got Williams and Fulton. So we were able to help out, I would say the kind of the middle tier of our roster with some higher end players, you know, Christian it can come in here and immediately be an impactful playmaker for our defense. And I mean, playing next to obviously Aaron Donald will um, really help him out. So we'll move him from right defensive end to left end um, and let him go to work here. But let's get to the draft. Let's see if we can make any new moves here. Um, and quarterback is still on the front page of my in my head. And here we are in the first draft class. Let's go, um, first of all, let's, we have the 20th overall pick, um, but this is the, how the state of the team looks right now. You know, we have Sam Darnold at quarterback. You know, I think we have our three receivers. I think we're kind of set here. I think we can go into the year with uh, AJ Dillon and be solid here. Same thing with Sam Darnold, but quarterback's still in my mind. Um, we have our tight ends. We have our offensive line, at least for the time being, you know, we could look to upgrade at center if we wanted to. Um, but I mean, yeah, we could. He's 28 years. Allen is 28. So we definitely could look to upgrade at center if we wanted to. But I think a lot of this draft will be focused on the defense. You know, we need another defensive tackle. A true nose tackle would really help. Another edge rusher. You know, I know young here, but he's young, but he's 26. You know, he's only in his second year. Um, so we got to really kind of figure out this edge rushing spot. Same with off ball linebacker. Corner could be another spot to look to towards. And in this draft class, it's not a quarterback class. So I, I am happy that I went after Sam Darnold. But this could be a position where, um, you know, we sit back and kind of say to ourselves, let's not draft a quarterback. Um, you know, Sean here, he was the only data... Um, day two to three talent I looked at him it's a day three guy so you know unless there's someone else here that we sit here and say to ourselves yeah let's go get um, I don't think that we're gonna make the a quarterback this spot um, I think our most immediate need is an edge rusher um, and right now I think my favorite edge rusher is gone though but like if we wanted to go an off-ball linebacker, Smith here would not be a bad option. 21 years old, pretty fast, strong, strong enough. Um, we would move him from outside to inside here. Um, Michael here could be another good good option here, though he's a we, we want to draft him. He's a day to three guy. Um, 
yeah, I don't really know who we should... I mean, corner is another spot. Let me look at these corners here and see if there's any interesting player. If not, we'll drop that linebacker. So while looking through these four corners here, you know, Alonzo Hall here is the fastest corner of the class, but we don't know his cover ratings. We know he's a zone guy, so let's assume that's a B zone coverage. And it's then it's like a D and man. But he's the fastest, he's the strongest. He can move, he can do a little bit of everything. But we don't know his coverage ratings. We don't know like the range. Now Gordon Sweedy here, 22 years old, A man. Assuming that that coverage on zone isn't the best, but he is fast. But we know one of his coverage abilities is solid and or very good. Or do we go with a guy like uh, Chris, Chris uh, Bishop here, who has a B man or A man and then a B zone, but isn't as much of an athlete. Bishop, I know the most information on, and I think that this is a tough spot. We don't have a seventh round pick. I, I think, I think if I'm sitting here and really thinking about it, we need everything on this defensive side of the ball. And I almost want to go with more the shirt sure thing here. And the shirt sure thing is getting Bishop. The intriguing player is Alonzo Hall. Let's go Alonzo Hall here. I think this is more of a Rams selection anyway. So Hall is the selection. He's normal dev, 70, 94 speed, 75 strength, excuse me. And Hall is fast, but hopefully he has at least, hopefully he's at least a 75. Okay, we've made it to the second round here. You know, we drafted a corner. Not my favorite selection that I've done in one of these rebuilds. As we see, Ramsey is still available here. Is the other corner available? No. But I mean, Ramsey was more of a... He's, he's not a fast cover guy. Um, so maybe we dodged a bullet. Maybe we didn't. We still need to consider edge rusher here. Same thing with defensive tackle. Um, I mean, both of these two guys... Um, defensive tackle, not going to really find too much more left here. Yeah, I mean, someone like a Cole uh, Patton here could be a solid starter. He is fast, so he probably has solid finesse rushing. That probably is a B. Let's go with Cole here. Here in the second round, let's help out this defense. 84 speed, hidden development. He'll play off-ball linebacker for us. Um, very excited to have him on this defensive line. And then my last selection here, the first draft class here. Um, I'm thinking again going defense. And if he is on the board, and he is, Hugh Wilbird. He has A zone coverage, A tackling. He's the fastest at, uh, as a left outside linebacker. He'll play inside for us. He's the selection 86 speed, hidden dev, 91 acceleration. That's good enough speed for me. Hugh will be an excellent middle linebacker for us. And hopefully, you know, we helped out the defense. We used free agency to help out this offense. The draft, we got younger to really help out Aaron Donald. Well, let's go see how, if I should have made other selections here. Oh, Alenzo Hall is a 77 overall. Okay, so we got probably one of the better players in this draft class, um, but Hall is has normal dev, and that's really the, the, um, the unfortunate part about this. Cole Patterson here is a 68. Um, not the highest rated, 75 power or finesse moves. Um, not really too worried about that. Um, he will be playing, I think, on the right side. Uh, we'll just put him as the left outside linebacker. Um, and that will bump him down to an 67. So, unfortunate. And then we got Hugh here, who's more of a pass cover guy. 72 zone coverage. Um, not really going to hit you the hardest, but... In terms of coverage, he can cover very well. So he will be moved to inside linebacker. Um, he's going to help out that. So he was like a 73. He's now a 72. Then we got a corner and a wide receiver in the 70s. Um, let's see if we really messed up and not drafting one of those other two players. Um, we had a few on my board. We could have drafted like a linebacker, I think. Um, so Sweeney here is a 70. 879 excuse me and he would have been a better player gordon i just didn't we didn't know his cover skills so um that's the only reason 
Um, we had an opportunity to draft, and then Bishop here was a 78. Oh my goodness. Um, we did get a good one of the higher rated players, but I don't know if we could have gotten someone else, someone better. I don't. I don't even see Smith. Um, who knows? Let's get into year two. Let's go see if the the changes of this roster can keep us going to the postseason. Well, here for year two, this will be the team. We're led by right now, currently Sam Darnold here. Hopefully Darnold can have just a solid season. I'm not looking for Darnold to be the next starting or future quarterback. You know, he has guys like a Cooper Cup here to help him out. You know, we've, we've surrounded him with a solid offensive line, a solid defense. This will be the defense. I am going to start uh, Cole here at um, off-ball linebacker, but... It's really up to Aaron Donald here in year 11. Can he get, can he continue to stay one of the best? So let's get into year number two. Let's sim to the midseason point. And halfway through year two, we're four and three. So far, very solid, respectful seasons for, from us. Donald's doing his job and that's exactly what we're looking for from Sam. And hopefully we can continue to keep up and continue to win here. Um, Go look at re-signing here. We have over $100 million, $120 mil to work with. We have Aaron Donald, Jones here, Witherspoon again, Tutu Atwell, Rob. Oh my goodness, we have all very much of a good amount of starters here. Though, you know, of course, we're going to keep Donald for as long as possible here. Um, I want a three-year contract with him. Three years, 84 million. Donald stays. Jones here, he's one of our more younger players on this team. And even if he has not a lot of interest, I would like to keep him. He is right now resisting that offer. Witherspoon will wait. Tutu Atwell here, I think is actually just a sol can be a solid contributor. And if we can keep Tutu, we'll have our three receivers for the whole rebuild, hopefully. Um, and then the last player is Rob here that I want to just attempt to work on a deal with just got to keep offensive linemen um we'll come back to these two players um witherspoon will still wait on him um and then for everyone else we'll probably just end up letting go here so we're four and three let's get to um let's get to the playoffs let's see if we can make the postseason again i think this is the first time in one of these rebuilds we've done back-to-back -back seasons getting to the postseason we are sitting here at 11 and I think 11 and six from what I remember seeing. Yes, 11 and six. We made it back to the postseason here and I think Cooper Cup went off. We had a top five offense here under led by Sam fucking Darnold. And we had a top three defense here. So Darnold, you know, 4,000 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, 12 picks. Not something that I expect from Sam, but hey, he did it. Um, AJ Dillon. 1100 yards 13 touchdowns 4.3 yards a carry that's very good here um happy about that and then cooper cup 100 catches 1600 yards and 19 touchdowns very good buka here eight and four two two with adding six and two higby added five and two um you know irv smith didn't really get on the field too much williams allowed 17 sacks so that's not good we were able to re-sign both Jones and Rob, so that's good. And Jones led us in tackles here. Aaron Donald did his job. 19 tackles for loss, 13 sacks here. And Christian Wilkins added 10 and a half with Donald adding 13. Clowney added seven and a half. And then Cole, respectful numbers here, especially in the running game. Um, not too shabby here. And then a few interceptions. Alonso here with two picks. Let's go see the yearly awards. Josh Allen MVP. Um, we did not win coach of the year. And Cooper Cup offensive player of the year. Um, I don't see. And Donald was a top five rookie of the year. I don't think we didn't have any offensive players. It's only on defense here. And our three young defenders that we drafted all in the top five or the top 10, but not good enough, I guess. Um, don't see Geno Smith. Probably not gonna have a running back Cooper Cup. He won it, and that's about it. So let's get into year two of the postseason. Um, you know, this is a big season. Let's go try to beat this Packers team.
And my goodness, we've done it. We beat the Green Bay Packers 20 to 17. We are now officially moved to the divisional round here. Um, I will auto upgrade. I think the San Francisco 49ers kicked us out of the postseason last year. Hopefully this time around, it's a different story. Can we get to the NFC Championship game? And we can't. We lost to them 35 to 14 as they move on to the championship game. And we will sim to the Super Bowl and try to redo it all over again. And your Super Bowl champions are the Buffalo Bills beating the uh, the, um, the Atlanta Falcons 38 to 24. I was gonna say the San Francisco 49ers for some fucking reason. Um, but the Bills are the new champions of this league as we have to auto upgrade these players. Um, let's go check out if there's been any deb trade or um, let's go see. Let's go see the Debs. Let's see if we have any new upgraded players here. And right now, it doesn't look at like it here on the offensive side of the ball. Um, no one is up to a star dev or higher here. Not even Darnold. Defensively, um, you know, Hall here, he went up to star dev. So that's very good. It was our first round pick. He, was, he started out as a normal dev player. And then what about for Hugh here? He is star. He kept his development trade. Now let's make sure he was supposed to be star dev. And he was. And then I think Cole. Cole, I am going to switch to star development just because um, it's like the new rule that I'm doing here. So, you know, with a lot of our drafted players, if after the first year they lose the development trait, um, then I will give them back the development trait they started with at least and yeah so cole will go up to star dev um fuller lost here jordan fuller lost to star development and i think that's the only dev changes here so let's get into um let's get into the second off season here well right now we have 90 million dollars to work with and none of these players here i want to keep um i mean witherspoon actually is just not a bad guy to keep on this roster for another season so we'll resign him everyone else will go to open free agency with north and nine or close to 90 million dollars um you know in terms of needs i know we just looked at the roster and i just kind of forget instantly um in terms of needs of this team um you know quarterback is still a need in my opinion even though darnold had had a very good year center has become the biggest need on this offense defensively i mean turner here has developed kobe turner um he's been developing but i still think a, no a tr traditional nose tackle would really help um corner is still in play linebacker is still in well pass rusher in general is um but other than that i think you know i think we're okay here um yeah so let's get into open free agency we have money to spend so let's attempt to spend it here hopefully we got a good role here in free agency as the top player is nick chubb Ooh, you got tua out here if we wanted to go after a veteran quarterback Ooh, greg newson here would be a good young superstar oh my there is actually a good amount of talent here um, that we could really use. Now, do we want to go after Tua? That's the question. I don't know this draft. I have not looked at this draft class at all. And Tua should be considered here. In terms of running back, I mean, Javante Williams would not at all be a bad back to bring in. But Dylan did his job here. Um, wide receiver is not something... Um, tight end I'm not too worried about for this offensive line I think it was just center that I was wanting and there really is not a good center we could draft someone and just put them in at center Cedaria so Smith would play outside linebacker for us for a few seasons if we wanted him um we could go after I can't even pronounce his name but OZ I'm not even going to try to mispronounce your name, my good sir. Um, but he would be a solid starter or a solid player to bring in. Um, not too much else here. 
What about a corner? Greg Newsom is a player that I want to go get. Newsom is the probably between him and what's his name to it. But I want to look at this draft class before we make any other decisions here. Um, let's see the combine results. I just want to see if there's like a good amount of quarterbacks. Is if there's not, I mean, there's three. And most likely we would only have an opportunity to draft Andrew here. Um, good throw power. I think we go after Tua. Yeah, I think we're going to go after Tua Vailoa. Um, and I, again, mispronounced his name. But we're going to go after Tua and Greg Newsom. And um, try to really help out this team here. So... With Tua, we're just going to give him this max contract. This is a big contract for us. And then the other player that I wanted to go get was Greg Newsom. And these will be the two and only two offers I am going to make at this current stage. Just because I do want to keep some of our money here. So we'll go after Tua. We'll go after Newsom. Hopefully we can get both or at least one of these guys. And we got neither. Of course we got neither that's unfortunate here so that very much changes my direction here corner is still just because there's a lot of talent out here we definitely should target one of these guys and johnson will be the guy um i'll offer him a three-year deal i think he will keep his development and his overall so johnson will be the guy that i will target and then I think I think we'll now go after uh, Williams here. We'll just bring him in because he's young. He's younger than Nick Chubb, and I think he has more room to grow. So we'll go after him. Quarterback. We'll stick with. I, I don't mind sticking with um, Sam Darnold for another season. I really don't. So, and maybe we'll go after Michael Pierce here solidify this defensive line he's only wants a one year deal so Pierce will go after then we'll go after this punter for a few seasons um, these will be the f now the offers we make here um, let's go see if we got any new um, players and we only got the punter and the defensive tackle we missed out on again Williams and Johnson here well we're shit out of luck let's get to the draft well, we flopped in free agency and we didn't we weren't able to get the two the, the really the three or four high quality starters that could have really helped in this rebuild and as we're now entering into the second draft class you know quarterback is still a focal point here center is still in need um, we don't have one on the roster but we kind of solidified this front seven with bringing in michael pierce um corner is still very much in need pass rusher is as well um yeah so you know we have the 26 overall pick if that quarterback does fall to us i do think that we have to kind of take him if not then we're probably i might end up trading out of this selection here um so andrew is gone there's no other quarterbacks that i looked at i did look at a center here and i think he was also drafted okay cool what about the pass rusher that i was looking at um joe here he has a block shed a pursuit 22 years old more of a power rusher and joe here with a power moves b finesse moves joe c or I'm going to call him Joe. Um, Joe is going to be the selection. I think he's just very talented. 6'6", um, six, six, hidden dev, 81 speed, 81 strength. Hidden development here. Hopefully he can help us with our pass rush, at least on the edge. I think we have the guys in the interior and the playmakers to help out this defense. I know I was thinking about trading out of this pick, but I think he was just the, I think he was just the best player on our board um and i want to draft we have to draft a center and i think this is kind of like the spot to do so to get ourselves a quality center and i think bill will be the guy unless he is not strong and he is strong so bill is the selection 88 strength hidden development 
for whatever reason, I'm good at drafting offensive linemen, and that should solidify the at least this interior of this offensive line here. Let's get to the third round here. One more selection to be made here in this draft. Second draft class. Um, corner still could be in play here. I mean, I guess safety as well. We could draft a receiver, but none of the, none of those things. We could take a shot at a quarterback if we wanted to. Uh, but I really don't mind going into this this next season with Sam Darnold at the helm. Um, we drafted a pass rusher, so corner kind of could be more of a in play here. Um, same thing here, technically with safety. Um, let's see Darren here, 22 years old, not the best tackler, not the fastest at all. Don't really like him. What about DeAndre Butler here? 22 years old, 4-4 speed. DeAndre Butler will be the selection. And he has hidden development, 93 speed, 93 acceleration. So we help out this secondary and this front seven a little bit more. We're getting some more talent on this roster. So let's sim to the end of the draft. Let the CPU take over and let's see how badly I did again. Okay, draft recap time. So we made three selections here. So Joe here, 73, respectful. I think he's a good player. And again, I might be thinking of this as a more of a user selection here because I see as a user, he's a very good talent, but maybe not in the sim, I have no idea. For Bill here, Dorset, 72, hidden dev, very good ratings across the board. We don't have to worry about, we don't have to worry about center anymore. Then DeAndre Butler, just gotta get him on the field. Coverage ratings need to be worked on, but the raw talent is there. And then for the rest, we got some quality depth across the board, so that's good at least. Um, we had the 26 overall pick. I don't think that we had like an opportunity to get a one. Two 80s in this draft class. Um, could have drafted Michael Flowers. Um, that would have probably been the only player we could have gotten, but. Same thing as the guy that we drafted last year, though maybe a little bit worse. Um, but after that, I don't think there was really like too many other players that were really on my radar. I mean, there's obviously talent out here, but I'm happy with the selections. Let's get into year number three. As the Rams are heading into year number three, this will be the roster here as we are led by, of course, Sam Darnold, AJ Dillon, who we brought over. Um, a season ago, um, we drafted a young center here. Overall, I think this offense should be relatively the same production wise, but you know, I don't know here in year three if we need to make some more moves. Defensively, though, we have very much retooled it, bringing in players like Michael Pierce, Christian Wilkins, and hopefully this front four here can help out here. You know, we drafted in the first round a big time pass rusher. Joe is going to have to step up here. You know, hopefully Hall can continue showing up here at corner. You know, we've been winning. It's just, can we now kind of get over the hump here? Though we might not have the youth in terms of the superstars on this roster, but let's get to the midseason point. Let's see what happens here in year three. You know, we've had some playoff appearances that hopefully we can get back to the postseason. And halfway through year three, we're five and one, second place here in the NFC West. Um, though the San Francisco 49ers are six and zero, oh, and they look like to have completely taken over there. So, I mean, but we're looking good so far. I don't think that we need to make a trade or a move here to get us over the hump. I think we just have to get back to the dance here. Um, looking at negotiations, we have $84 million here. Really not a lot of players that I would want to keep. Um, a lot of these guys here, actually all of these guys here are kind of either role players on a, that are veterans or are just kind of here. Um, so not going to really worry about this. We'll be able to move some, we'll be able to go into free agency with a lot of cash here. So. But let's get to the postseason. Let's see what happens here. Let's get back to the playoffs and hopefully we can make a deeper run this time around. And here in year three of this five year rebuild, the Rams are 13 and four. And it looks like we are the currently the number one seed. And we are we were able to get 
to the number one seed, the top seed here in the NFC. And how the heck did we do it with this offense and defense? Well, Sam Darnold threw almost 4,000 passing yards, 33 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Very much of a very good season for Darnold. Um, you know, we brought him in here for three years, hoping that he can just kind of be a good placeholder, and he has been. He's helped us win plenty of games here. A.J. Dillon here, 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns. Very, very good year for him. Cooper Cup, um, over 100 catches, 1,500 yards, 17 touchdowns. Tutu Atwell added eight and five. And then Puka here added seven and three, with Higby adding four and four. So our receiving core continues to impress me, and that's very good. Defensively, Jones led us in tackles here. Looks like Aaron Donald did his job. 18 tackles for loss. Christian Wilkins with seven tackles for loss. And Cole Patterson here with also 10 tackles for loss. He's been an excellent at the running game. And then Donald led us in sacks with eight and a half. Christian had eight and, um, 16 and a half for Donald, eight and a half for Wilkerson. Um, Byron Young here with four. Joe with three and a half. So we've got a good amount of pressure. And Alonzo Hall here, our, I believe our first ever selection, um, led us with three picks. Now, I don't think that we've done enough. Now, I mean, Cooper Cup and Aaron Donald, oh my. So they both won Offense and Defensive Players of the Year. I really didn't expect actually us to have those type of re those type of award winners, but Cup continues to win awards. Same here thing with Aaron Donald. Let's get to the postseason. Let's get to the divisional round and let's see who we're facing. And the LA Rams here in the divisional round will be playing against the Atlanta Falcons. They have yet to pull them up on the screen, but it's Sam Darnold here versus Desmond Ritter. Two quarterbacks here that I don't really expect to ever say again in the postseason. But, you know, right here, right now, this team for the Rams, we have the number one seed we are one of the better teams in this league and hopefully we can get over the hump here today you know this falcons team they're a quality team as well they sim very well but we got donald we got cooper cup hopefully sam darnold here um can lead us to victory here today um in the divisional round as we will be simming quarter by quarter here um just to see. So let's see what happens here in the first quarter here. And so far, nothing. Atlanta did score first. We were able to equalize them with two touchdowns. So it's 7-7 here in the first half. As Atlanta was able to score, we were able to equalize it. And Atlanta, though, and halftime will go up by 7-14 to now. And add a field goal. So entering into the fourth quarter, we're down here. And hopefully we were able to get something. We were able to score. And we're keeping this game nice and close here. But we're again one and done here in the postseason. As the Atlanta Falcons will be knocking us off here. 31 to 28. And, you know, it was a close battle here, it looks like. So, you know, not too bad here. I wanted to hop into this game because I did not know if we would make the postseason yet again. I mean, Darnold did his job, couldn't really run the football. Cooper Cup blasted off. And, you know, not a lot of sacks, no turnovers. Eh, just the better team won, I guess. Let's get into year number four. As the Cincinnati Bengals beat the Atlanta Falcons 31 to 14, Joe Burrow's your MVP. Um, don't see any award winners for us, but we're now entering into another off season here with plenty of capital to go out there and make some moves. We we got to hopefully in this role in free agency we're able to make something happen because you know, we kind of need that. You know, when we're entering we we've made the postseason every single season now. Um and it's time to get us over this hump here as we see that Dorset here our center, Bill Dorset is a superstar development and that should really help out his depth trait um, defensively. Now, Joe here, who we drafted in the first round, uh, he did not lose. I don't think he lost it just yet. Now, I don't know when regression actually kind of like hits. I think it hits today or during this portion. Um, but, you know, we, we got a lot of room to really... We got to... We really just have to get a difference maker 
you know I think next to someone like a Cooper Cup, we need to get a difference maker to help him out here. As much as I like Puka Tutu at well, get in a difference maker. Maybe it's that quarterback. Maybe that's the thing we need. Defensively, someone in the secondary needs to be higher than like an 80 overall or an 83. Yeah, but you know, Alonzo Hall can only do so much. But let's get into the offseason. You know, we have the re-sign phase. Some of those players I might end up keeping um maybe i think that you know I, I really would love to know the role beforehand but you know what, what we're trying to do is kind of make this team a lot better with 106 million dollars you know christian fulton here he he is a good player to keep on this roster and he would probably be the only one that i would want to keep still and he is so i'm gonna give fulton this two-year deal he wants to stay great he doesn't maybe we'll re-offer him in free agency but that's okay as we've hit open free agency Rodney Stanley is the highest rated pay player with Josie with Joel um, Batoni out here Demarcus Lawrence you know you got Trey Johnson here quality players here not the best role um, but still a solid one you know Sam Howell's out here not thinking about a running back you know we don't really need that wide receiver you know we, we've gone after Romeo Dobbs he doesn't get you over the hump you know Tyler Lockett he would be a solid receiver but it, he's just kind of like an upgrade over Tutu at well um don't really need to do anything like that now for tight end I'll go after um what's his name um Irv Smith here spring him back um, he can be our solid tight end. I do think we're going to make an offer here to Rodney Stanley. He is the highest rated player out in free agency. And why not? You know, we have the capital. Might as well give ourselves a very good left tackle for two seasons. And, you know, the same argument could be made for Joel here, Patoni. Um, and the same logic is going to apply for me. I, I just want to bring in the best players that we possibly can. And I think both Joel and Rodney Stanley can really help us out here. F to help out this defense here, um, you know, we let Michael Pierce walk. You know, DJ Reader, if he would want to come in here for a one-year deal, I would love to have him. You know, why, might as well continue to solidify our defensive line. And I think it was Johnson that I really would want out of these corners. So we'll go after Johnson here. Those will be the five players that we target. Let's make this a very competitive bid um, because we do need a top tier corner in this lineup here. Um, Safety is not really doing it for me. So we're going to go after some of the higher rated players. See what we can do here. Hopefully we get Rodney Stanley. Um, hopefully, possibly. And we got all five. So we helped out the offensive line. We helped out the secondary a little bit. The defensive line. And a starting tight end for us as we're now entering into year four so you know when you're looking at the current state of this roster with these now additions to the team you know overall we should be a lot better here you know we really helped out this offensive line you know now obviously we're letting some players be backups and that's okay um you know running back i think we're i think aj dylan should be okay defensively now you know, we have our true number one corner. DJ Reader can solidify us. You know, one player that I could look to move off of is a guy like a Brian Hall, 28 years old, entering into last year of his contract. You know, he's a good player. He's a fun player. But that 28 years old, you know, could we get a draft pick for him? Maybe. But I don't think this is going to be a rebuild that we do a lot of trades. It's kind of coming, it's kind of boiling down to that as we're entering into year four. So let's get to the draft. Let's see if we can get some young talent. Well, as we're entering into this draft class here, let's view this. Let's look at this board here. You know, there's multiple quarterbacks in the top five. You know, we have three quarterbacks in the top five here. I did look at um, Cameron Lindsay here. It's a day three to four talent. Um, one of these guys if they fall to us i do think that we have to take one of them i think chad is the best out of all three of these quarterbacks but um not going to be forcing a trade up here even though we might want to um 
I mean, that's the... I guess that's the decision here, is do I sit here and I look at Chad um, Shiner here, 22 years old, A's across the board, he has good throw power, um, do I sit here and think that Chad is the real deal? And I do think he's the real deal. It's just, do we want to sit here and basically make this draft class all about Chad and go get our young quarterback? Or do we want to sit back, have another season with kind of a, mainly a le led by a veteran roster with um, Sam Darnold at the helm? Or what? You know, that's really the question here. Now, I do think in terms of Rams type of moves, they would go get a young quarterback here and I do think that makes a whole lot of sense for us so I do though think we're going to see if he falls out of the first handful of picks I would like for him to get out of not the top two and he does go so let's get to the 20th overall pick he did go I'm not going to trade up for another quarterback I do think that um Chad was the only guy on the board that I would have wanted to take um so now it kind of changes everything because you know we can now look at corner we could look at safety um i'm going to look around the board see if there's someone interesting that i would like to take here um if not we might trade out of this selection and really kind of um get a good player for next year but here with the 20th overall pick we're going with george logan here 22 years old he's a corner six foot four he runs 4-3 speed. I think that's very good speed for him. 6 foot 4 hidden dev 92 speed. I think Logan here can help us solidify our secondary, at least our corner room and hopefully between him and everyone else Johnson, um I forget the other kid that we have on our roster. Um hopefully those guys can really help solidify us and I do think he was the best player on the board. Now here, this is where I was hoping one of these one of my favorite tight ends would drop, but Alex Harper, um, I did like a lot as well. He has elite speed, he has elite strength. Harper will be the selection here. 86 speed, 74 strength, or 78 strength, hidden development. He's gonna be our new starting tight end here. So we got our, we're sticking with Sam Darnold for another season. I'm hoping that Darnold can just stay the course here if he can continue to perform as he has been then we should be okay um my last selection here in the th will be here in the third round um you know we've helped out our probably our two bigger needs wide receiver is not at all a need in my opinion i mean we could look to draft someone um i mean we could always draft a wide receiver um and that might be something that i might want to do so none of these guys just off the board kind of jump out at me. Um, Devon Tate here will be our selection. He has A hit power, C zone coverage. He runs okay. He's not going to be the fastest, but I think at safety he can really help us out. We'll help out our secondary. 89 speed, normal development. Not the best, not the worst selection. Hopefully Tate can be a solid starter. Let's get to the draft recap. Okay, draft recap time here. The third draft class as we enter into year four. We were able to get, so George Logan here, 75 overall. Very good to start off here. You know, he will be a solid day one starter for our team. And then, of course, we drafted Alex Harper here. You know, he has good speed. He can run block. He can do a little bit of everything if you need him to. So... Should be able to get two good solid starters. And then Tate, um, bust here. Uh, but the hit power is at 86, so he can hit. He can play coverage. He's a long-term developmental guy that we have on the roster. We also drafted, or the CPU drafted us, this hidden dev receiver. Happy about that. Now, you know, should have I traded up to try to get Chad? Well, he's a 77, so absolutely we should have probably made this a priority he's hidden dev cleveland though has him um yeah we probably should have went up to go get him let's get into year four let's go see if we can make further in the postseason than just the divisional round 
Well, this will be the roster entering into year four. We were able to help out our offensive line, bringing in both Ronnie Stanley and Joel Batoni here, and hopefully that can help out this team a lot. Um, sticking with Sam Darnold here. Um, we have a new rookie tight end. Hopefully he can help us out as much as he can. You know, we have Logan on this roster here. You know, we have a very good team here. We have a very good front three. We have solid corners. We should be able to get to the quarterback. We should be able to force turnovers and we should be able to put up points. You know, it's really the key is Darnold. If Sam Darnold can continue to perform at the high, at his high level that he has been playing over the last few seasons now, you know, then we should be okay. If he doesn't, then we're kind of shit out of luck here. But let's get into year four. Let's see what happens here at the midseason mark. Well, halfway through year number four, we're sitting here at four and three. Um, right now, it's a very tight race here. Three teams, the Seahawks and the Niners are right now our biggest foes here. So we're going to just auto upgrade these two players for us. Um, but right now, we're this is a tight division. This is a good division here. And we have a lot of decisions to be made with $75 million to work with. And a lot of kind of important starters here. You know, obviously Cooper Cup, I want to keep on this team. You know, Cup's a very important receiver. He's just bald ever since he's been here. So I want to keep Cup. Steven here, I don't know just yet about him. Um, Puka, I would also like to keep. He's just a good receiver and he resigns on a three year deal. We have $47 million to work with. Darnold is still very cheap, um, though I do think making some trade a trade here does make a whole lot of sense just to get some draft picks. Um, and that's trading away both Rob here as well as Brian Young. Steve could have could be traded as well, and I think we will. I think we'll trade those three players. Just try to get a draft pick or two. Um, you know, we haven't really made too many trades at all in this um, rebuild, so let's go make some trades. Let's see if we can get any draft capital back, you know, and see what we can do. So we've made a massive trade here with the Houston Texans. We're trading away the three players that I said, our next year's first and second, and this year's third round pick to get an extra first and second round draft pick. So we're able to reaccumulate this team entering into the last off season. And I wanted that just to try to get the most impact for this team. And this would also allow us to make any sort of trades for a player if necessary. We'll have two first and two seconds. Moving off of three quality players. But let's get to this postseason here. And we missed. This is the first time we went eight and nine here. Um, not the type of season you really want to have. And Sam Darnold kind of came back down to earth here. 19 touchdown, 13 interceptions. So quarterback is kind of, of course, the big thing on my mind here. A.J. Dillon, um, 1,000 yards, 9 touchdowns. Cooper Cup, 100 catches, 1,500 yards, 9 touchdowns. Puka here added 7-2. and two. Tutu added 6-2. and two. And Alex Harper added 4-2. and two. So someone has to find the end zone, though. Um, Aaron Donald popped off as he typically does 23 and a half sacks that would be the new sack record if it has not been broken Joe here added five sacks and Christian had seven of his own and no turnovers let's forget about here in year four we're gonna go all in here in year five we have money a solid amount and let's see if, what impact we can make as the Buffalo Bills were able to win the Super Bowl, beating the Dallas Cowboys 35 to 28 here, as Josh Allen is your MVP. And there is some developing stories here though. Um, as I did check out the roster beforehand and Joel Batoni has retired. So there is now a need at the offensive line position. Um, we definitely need to figure out this running back spot. Quarterbacks a need. Um, but the other big thing is Aaron Donald's no longer here and that's huge and because Donald was the difference maker on this defense and with him gone 
it changes a lot so you know we have now money but the problem is is that even with all this money um you know we're gonna have to go all in on these big name free agents and we just didn't have the best season so probably not a lot of free agents want to be here um hall will pick up the fifth year option for um darnold for right now we won't offer him a contract same thing here with dj reader um you know those are probably the only two big players but we have a hundred million dollars to work with we got to spend it we got to get a difference maker we have draft picks if we want to make a trade and this is not the best free agency role out here tyler lombard is the best player as you guys can see there's not a lot of interest across the board to players to wanting to be here um, I am going to offer to Sam Darnold just in case if I can't figure out quarterback. Um, I think Darnold gives us probably the best advantage here. I mean, I guess you could argue go after Deshaun Watson or Daniel Jones. Um, actually, yeah, let's withdraw here. Let's go. Let's get into this sweep taste. Let, let's try to go get Deshaun Watson. Not a big fan of him personally, but um, just for the... For the rebuild we'll go after him um gibbs here obviously we're gonna go after him he's one of the higher rated players um out in free agency and we just kind of need him so we do need a running back so we will go after gibbs um he does not want to be here we'll just massively overpay him we will also make a contract offer here to tyler you know what we do need an offensive lineman and tyler would solidify the offensive line yet again here um though i don't think he's gonna come to the team um defensive line is a pretty big need for this defense now especially without the starters that we did have we'll go after deforest buckner here no one has any interest in him we'll go after buckner hopefully he can be a good solid player i mean same thing here with Leonard Williams. Um, we have the money, might as well spend it. So we'll go after Williams as well. And if there is someone else out in free agency that I would prefer to go get, um, I will withdraw from him. It's just, you know, a lot of these guys would be solid contributors, just not like the needle mover that we desperately kind of need. So we'll go after the two highest rated players and a couple other roles, starters, you know, Let's see if we have any new players. We have DeForest Buckner and Leonard Williams, so we helped out the defensive line, but we didn't get Tyler, we didn't get Gibbs, we didn't get um, Sean Watson. Um, so we now have a lot more room here. So I will be making an offer here to Darnold. We have plenty of capital. Um, now we might as well just try to get the best players to come here. Making some more offers out here, just kind of filling out the roster here. I do think, though, we're probably going to end up trying to make a trade here. Joe Mixon did not sign. We've got Bradley Chubb, Shaq Mason, Armstead here. Darnold is back. So we helped out the defense, the front seven, as much as we possibly can. Though no one can replace a guy like an Aaron Donald on a roster. Um, and that move re or that retirement really does hurt us. Um, though overall, I do think the offense now, you know, if we can make a trade for like a quarterback or something, you know, I think that's what we're going to end up trying to make here. Defensively, though, I do think we're in a better spot to go into next season with, with the front seven, especially though getting someone potentially in the secondary, maybe at safety. Um, let's, I'm going to look around the league, see what we can make. So we're going to be trading for Justin Smiley here. We're going to give up a first round pick two years from now. Who cares about that? We don't, we're not going to use it. And a second round pick this year to get our starting quarterback. They have Justin Fields um, here in Chicago. They just don't need Smiley. So we're going to go get our quarterback. And I think we solidified, solidified it. And we're trading a U-Haul of draft capital here. We're trading away another second round draft pick this year and a bunch of picks for the next few seasons to get Norton and Kenny Clark from the Green Bay Packers. So we went out there, made a lot of draft decisions, a lot of trades here. Um, 
and we were able to bring in some very talented playmakers and players to help out this team. Smiley Norman here, two of the newer faces on this team. And I'm hoping that these guys can be the difference makers here in the last year of the rebuild. You know, Smiley will be our quarterback. I'm not going to look to trade or draft a different guy. He has a strong arm and just hopefully he can play. I have no idea. Um, you know, we still have our two. We still have two first round picks this year. And I think with the addition of Kenny Clark, it's, kind of, it's basically the move to replace. Um, what's his name? Um, Aaron Donald, um, though. Either way, I do think that still um, there is probably one more trade that I do want to make here. Um, if the player falls to us, because I did take a little look at the draft class, there is a wide receiver that is very intriguing. And if we want to go get him, we have to trade up in the first round, probably to the first overall pick. But let's get to um, the draft. Well, we're in the last draft class here. As Cleveland is on the clock, we have the 12th overall pick. I believe the 14th overall pick. Um of this draft um yes we have the 12 and 14 but kinley here he's the guy that i want to go get um 21 years old physical specimen 4-4 speed strong can move can do everything that you want from a receiver i did look at the mock drafts he is expected to go number two overall to the um denver broncos here so i'm gonna just trust in it and I do, and I am not. I am gonna try to make this trade happen. I mean, the most that I can really give to Denver is my two first-round picks. So we'll see if it works. Well, we are looking at these um, obviously offers here. There is one that I'm going to do. We're not trading away our team here. You know, someone like that. We're not trading this, or we're not doing this type of trade. I'm gonna be traded away both the 12th and the 14th pick. Basically, our entire draft class <laughs> to go get this player here. Um, I think that we might as well be aggressive here in this last draft class. Um, and I think this is a Rams type of decision. Um, you know, so we're going to go get the player. And this will be a two player draft here, but we're going to get Kinley here. And I think he's going to be a difference maker. 92 speed, hidden development. I am hoping hidden development or not hidden dev, um, generational type of talents here. Um, yeah, that's the only selection we've made here the, in this draft class because we only have that one selection here. So let's get to the recap. Let's see if I made the right call. Okay, so if this player is not a generational talent, I should just probably end the video here. And he is 82 overall, hidden dev. Um, I don't know if you would call this generational. I mean, he has 99 jumping. Um, so I guess I would, um, hopefully we didn't jump the gun and just get the second best player in the draft class. Um, nope, we got the best player. Um, so we got the best player here. Um, obviously we only had two selections here, so we're entering into year five with a superstar, hopefully at wide receiver and hopefully with the new additions across this team we can make some actual noise here. Well, this will be the team entering into year number five. We brought, we made a lot of trades here. Obviously we traded up for Kinley here. We made two trades here to get a starting quarterback, a starting running back here. On the defensive side of the football, we made a trade for to go get Kenny Clark here. We went out there and brought in a bunch of free agent veterans to help out this team. And hopefully these guys can just solidify this roster here. And on a side note here, the CPU did draft a hidden depth safety um, with the seven, in the seventh round. But let's get into year five here. We're going to sim to the postseason. You know, it, it, it's time to make it here. It's time to make a big time run here with this roster now. So guys, if you like today's video, please leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of today's action. And don't forget to subscribe. You know, I'm trying to come out with these videos as quickly as I possibly can throughout the rest of the month of October. Right now, I'm recording this in the middle of October. Um, you know, probably by this time this video's out, there's probably going to be two to three more, hopefully, of these rebuilds coming out to you guys. 
Um, and then we're going to be doing the big franchise in the beginning of November here. If you're excited for that, let me know down below as we go eight and nine to finish the rebuild. Um, not the type of season that you want to finish off here as the first three years we were able to make the postseason. And even with the additions that we've made here, even going after a generational talent here at wide receiver, it was not enough to get us back to the postseason. Um, I don't know if I just dropped the ball on not going to go get that quarterback when we could have or attempted to with Darnold. Um, I don't know if it was that. I don't know if it was just poor management on my end. Um, but... You know, we couldn't get this Rams team over the hump. We never got them to the NFC Championship game. We never got them. We only won a few playoff games here. You know, Justin Smiley here was awful. Um, absolutely awful here. And, you know, we needed to make a trade for a quarterback. He was the only guy that I really felt comfortable going to get. You know, R Ralph here, Norman here, 1,100 yards, five touchdowns. He had a good year with Joe Mixon adding 14 touchdowns to the ground. And we could run the football. Cooper Cup probably had his worst season. I mean, when you have the talent w that we had on this re receiving core, and y you don't, s and your quarterback struggles as much as Smiley did, that's where we really messed up. That's where I messed up completely. So that's unfortunate here. Kenny Clark, he did his best Aaron Donald impression here. Um, no other major sacks, two interceptions throughout the entire season. Well, um, so far in all these rebuilds, we have successfully rebuilt one team. And yeah. So guys, please leave a like, comment down below what you thought. And don't forget to subscribe. If you like Madden Rebuilds, this is the channel for you. I will see you in the next one.